Hi, Gail. How are you doing? I'm Julian Roman with Movie Web and Superhero Flicks. Let me just get you in frame. Now, uh, I just come, came back from seeing the footage from the panel, uh, the fight between uh, the first meeting between Kim Roth and, uh, and Ed Norton and uh, the Hulk, and it's just unbelievable. I mean, it's just really, really exciting, really interesting. After the first film, which I thought was brilliant, I may be in the minority and people yell at me for saying that, what do you feel that you had to do to kind of bring the action to the next level? Were you going to do more CGI work or more hand-to-hand -hand combat? What was the thought to, to really make it more exciting? Well, the great thing is the technology. Every year, the technology. Uh, we're and we had the opportunity also to, to use more performance capture. So in addition to great Hulk smash sequences, we're actually able to get Edward Norton to performance even more in the character than they were in the first film. So, you know, and, and we, we were able to, we have three enormous sequences of action in the film, um, as well as, as, well as three transformations that you'll be able to see. We plan on turning into... I am, uh, I'm really pumped about the, the casting and the stuff we've seen has been really interesting because when I think Ed Norton and I think Tim Roth, I think intensity, like really, really intense actors. What were those guys like on set? Are they funny? Are they laid back? Are they like really driven and like Daniel D. Lewis in character 24-7? No, I mean, they're great actors, so they can, they can switch back and forth, you know, so you can be talking to Edward Norton and then you can go on set and be Bruce Banner and, uh, you know, and, and, and Tim Roth the same way. I mean, how great is it to, to be working with Tim Roth? And his performance in terms of Reservoir Dogs or, and uh, Rob Roy, who's nominated for the Academy Award in Rob Roy, you know, and, and Edward's performance in Final Fear and, uh, you know, and um, uh, Painted Veil um, and Fight Club, American History X. You know, and, and let's not forget William Hurt, who was going to be here today, if, but he was shooting in South Africa and couldn't make it. Um, and he makes a tremendous. All right, and uh, I guess the last question for me is, you're like a legendary producer in the, the fanboy club because of the movies that you've done. I mean, what what is, when you, when you do a film, even a film of this magnitude, is it, has it become like old hat to you now? No, are you kidding? Do you know, I feel every movie like I am uh, <laughs> the luckiest fan in the world because when I'm not making these films, I'm going to see all the same films that all the fans love and continuing to read the comic books and read the science fiction novels. So, so to me, you know, at the end of a 16-hour day, when I'm starting to say I can't believe how difficult it is, you have, to, you have to pinch yourself and say, you know what, the luckiest job in the world for someone who's so much more fans I am. Right, thank you. Thank you. Good to meet you. Cheers. Thank you.